All right, everybody in the land of YouTube, here is the truck that I'm going to list for sale on Craigslist here in the next probably week. It is a 1985 Toyota SR5 single cab long bed, straight axle, five speed with a 22 RE fuel injected engine. So the backstory on this truck, it belonged to a guy that lived around the corner from me. Um, he bought it brand new in La Puente, California. Um, actually, his dad bought it brand new. And his dad passed away about 12 years ago. Um, it was a one-owner truck. One family has owned this truck since the day it was bought until about five months ago when my son and I decided that we were going to buy it and fix it up and sell it. My son is 15 and he's looking to buy his first truck and for some reason he doesn't want a Toyota. I don't know. Kids these days. So we spent the last four or five months um, kind of going through this truck. It sat at their property for a, uh, since 2013. Um, so we addressed any of the issues. Um, I'll kind of get into a list of things as I go around that we replaced. Um, some of them are fairly obvious, some of them aren't, but, um, it's a super clean truck. Cool backstory. It was one owner. That's always nice. Always lived in California or Southern California until they moved out here to Lake Havasu city. So it's always, always been in a dry climate. This thing, when I talk about a dry climate, like this thing has not been on the east coast in the rust belt or anything like that so i'll go over it <clears throat> when we did this me and my son we wanted people to see kind of the good and the bad but make it look nice so we could have gone after it with spray paint and the wheel wells and on the frame and really really gone after it and i i guess tried to somewhat restore it but i don't think I didn't want to cover something and have people question it. So if you look at what we've done on it, we've cut it and buffed it and uh, repainted the front bumper. And like, it looks very, very nice, but you'll notice when we get into the frame, the engine, um, inside the bed, uh, we did detail the interior very, very well, took out the seats and carpet and cleaned all that. But I wanted people to really see, um, kind of the original condition of this truck but make it running driving and look nice so it is not restored um like i said this was a father-son project i had an awesome time building it with my kid um it was really really great knowledge for him so we'll kind of walk around it um in 1985 his dad had that sleeper put on so that sleeper has been on this truck since it was brand new um, these are not the original wheels that came on this truck when I bought it, but I do have the original wheels. They were just like this, but in the center portion of the wheel, it was a gold color. And the reason I went away from that, I love the look, but the gold color was starting to not look so great and it wasn't really restorable. So I found these wheels very era correct of 1985. So... They're cool. Um, we did put a brand new set of Pathfinder tires on it. We got them from Discount Tire. They're brand new. Um, actually, I think they're an LT. So they're a very heavy rated tire for this truck, but finding 15-inch uh, tires these days is kind of challenging. So um, they're a 31, 10, 50, 15. Um, all four of them are brand new all the way around. So <clears throat> uh, walking around this thing, trying to think of anything as I walk around that you might see. Um, this bumper, I don't know if it's original, but it is welded on. Um, it very well may be original. I don't know. So getting back on this tailgate, <clears throat> I lived next to this guy for uh, 17 years out here. And this truck, almost 100% of the life that I saw it, had the tailgate down. And what he would do, this was never really his daily driver when I saw it, he would pile it full of trash throughout the, the weeks and he would make a dump run in it about every month, month and a half. So this tailgate sat down for that long. So where I say this truck has lived in a dry climate, it's 100% dry Arizona climate. Unfortunately, he left the tailgate down and when it would rain or any of the trash that he had that was wet, with this tailgate open, if you know these tailgates, water gets to right there. 
So that's going to be your only spot on here. And it's kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. So um, inside the bed, really nice. You can tell, like I said, we didn't overly clean this thing. We wanted people to see what it is. Um, no major dents, dings, um, anything like that. So sleeper's kind of cool. You can still haul a sheet of plywood if you need to. Um, so going around this, we replaced taillights. It didn't really need them. I just thought it would look better. The taillights that were on there were kind of oxidized. So um, we did the taillight lenses. Uh, it still has all the original four mud flaps on them. Um, somewhere on there you can kind of see this one says four wheel drive and I believe the front one says Toyota. So uh, we got into the fuel system. You can see um, I put a new fuel cap on it. We put um, the existing tank, we cleaned it really well. We put a new, um, we put a new uh, fuel pump in it, um, fuel screen on the fuel pump. We bought a good one. Uh, I think it was like $130. We did all new fuel lines and even the hard line that's bolted on, we replaced that as well. Um, any of the vacuum lines that came off of it or return lines, we also replaced those. So um, I'll go back to this spot right here because I think that's something that somebody should see. So just walking around. It does have the two original mirrors. Um, I believe they're stainless. So I know this is kind of a big deal. These things online are like $400 for a pair. So both of those match. Uh, front bumper's in really nice shape. It did at one time, you can see, that's kind of dirty. It did at one time have a push bar. And I still have that push bar. It's over on the side of the garage. Um, it had a set of KC lights on it. So if that's kind of your thing, okay. I, I just didn't really like the look of it. Um, yeah, so then getting back into this side over here, you can kind of see this is the one spot where he got into something. And you can see there's a, he hit it right here. It didn't get into the cab, which is nice. And it ends right here. And I really think like a good paintless dent guy could really make that look nice. Um, we have one paintless dent guy in town. And unfortunately, he wasn't willing to work on it because he said if he can't make it perfect, he's not willing to work on it, which was a bummer. But it's still, the paint's in good shape. It's just, I think a good paintless dent guy could really um, make it look 90% better. So, and going around to the interior, the door panels are door panels like they should be. We replaced little things like this that the plastic was worn and cracking. The door jams look really nice. Um, this is the original SR5 seats that came in this truck. Um, these came with covers when I had them. That's probably what saved most of them. I get they have some, they're kind of torn up, but they're better than most. We pulled all of the interior out of this and cleaned the carpet and um, pulled the seats out and cleaned all of the plastic pieces that we could just to kind of get all the years of use off of them. Um, the dash is cracked. It's Velcroed on, but it's got cracks in it. Um, the original visors, the headliner's in good shape. It even has a light cover. Both of these lights work. Oh, I say that. And <laughs> okay, there we go. Both of those lights work. So the clock works. Um, the radio works. It's got 206,000 original miles. Uh, the wipers work, the hazards work. This is the original shift boot. It's leather. I was going to replace it with one of the vinyl ones. I just didn't think it did it justice. I get this one doesn't look fantastic, but the vinyl ones look kind of cheesy to me. Um, this truck does have air conditioning. All the parts and pieces are there. It does not work. Um, the belt is still on it. Sorry, I wasn't watching that. But um, you can hit the button. It doesn't turn on. I imagine it's probably an R12 system. So do with it what you will. Um, all this stuff in here is really clean. We took time and cleaned it up. And um, Over here on this side, there's some damage to the plastic panel. I imagine you could probably find those somewhere, but um, like I said, I'm just trying to point out any of the obvious stuff that may be red flags. Um, 
There's an extra set of belts that came off of it. We put new belts on it. All the seals and everything are good. And the doors, they all close like they should. Um, the roof paint is nice. And of course my battery is about to die on my phone. I'll jump into the engine compartment and hopefully my battery doesn't die. Now you can see the paint too. The paint looks really nice. It shines, shines well. And it doesn't look to have been repainted anywhere that I could see. I mean, I'm not a paint guy, but yeah. So, um, like I said, under the under the hood, we didn't do much for cleaning it. We w more wiped it down. I'm not a fan of pressure washing stuff, especially these with all the electronics. Like sometimes you can get into more trouble than it's worth. Um, I put a new battery in it. We did plugs. We did wires. We did cap and rotor. We did a PCV valve. Um, all these new lines from LC Engineering were put on. So I think they're silicone as opposed to the typical vacuum lines. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. We did new belts on here. Uh, my kid kind of cleaned it up so you can see. He didn't do a fantastic job, but it is what it is. There's a reference tag for some type of information on this truck. Being a California truck, there is the... Um, information on exhaust and all that stuff. I did leave the catalytic converter on this. Um, it had an exhaust leak at the muffler. It had the original muffler and I decided to take that off and spend the money um, on um, a new basically cat back. Uh, so it's got new pipe. Um, we'll jump under here real quick. It's got a new pipe there. There's the rear end, and you can kind of see the new muffler. Nothing fancy, it's just to keep it quiet. It does have the original spare. That thing's old and not in great shape, but it's there. So I'll try to get under this thing so you can see it. Give me just a minute as I lay in the dirt. So, oh, we put a new carrier bearing on it. The carrier bearing was shot. You can see the original catalytic converter. I had the exhaust guy check it out. He said it was still fine. So there's the new portion that got rid of the blown out exhaust. But looking up in the frame, like you can see that this thing has lived in Arizona as far as the lack of rust and everything like that. So it does have your typical U joints that are, you know, slinging grease and stuff like that. Um, we put new shocks in the front. We also did new shocks in the rear. Um, Sorry if I'm kind of autistically doing this here and trying to remember things as I go. Um, it doesn't have any leaks. We parked 